Hello, I'm Randon Rose. Welcome back to Vlog While I Game. So, I mentioned earlier on in this particular Let's Play that I moved recently, and I just have to say, like, how, how just regionally happy I am. <laughs> I was living in a big city on the eastern seaboard, and that was just so not for me. And now I'm living on the west coast, which is just, like, there's Del Taco on the west coast. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot Del Taco existed in, in the miserable hell of a place I was in. Living in a big city on the eastern seaboard. Like, Del Taco exists. And there's one really close by. Um, so... Oh my gosh, I got Del Taco for the first time in forever. Like, it's it's not the first time I've ever lived on the West Coast, so it's not the first time I've ever been to a Del Taco. It's just the first time in a long time. And, oh my gosh, Del Taco. <laughs> you, get, you get your fish tacos, and they each come with a lime. Like, your fast food tacos come with a lime. How fucking fantastic is that? That's the way it should be. Like... Oh my gosh, do you know, you know, Taco Bell has a lot of room for improvement. Um, but I feel like they could, they could maybe improve about like 25% just by giving you a lime with your taco. Um, really, like, it's so great. I, I was like, I was so thrilled that my, that my, that my taco came with a lime. It's just, it's the best. It's how it should be. And... <clears throat> oh my gosh. It's just uh it's it's so great. The 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 countryside is so pretty. I'm in a I'm in a more rural area I can breathe. <laughs> I'm no longer living in uh what I think was was probably one of the cities with like the highest rates of of being potentially murdered if you're if you're a trans woman. Um so yeah, nice not to live there anymore. Um, and I grew up in a rural area, so so being in a more rural area now is is kind of cool. It definitely gets really hot though. Like it's 98 today. <laughs> Again, that's why we're playing this game to cool off. But like, if you want to go spend a lot of time outside, it's like you you gotta like get your hair all wet to keep you cool or or something. <laughs> Just bring a bring a a great big cooler of ice water to dump on yourself every now and then. Oh, and it's smoky today. Did I <laughs> Did I mention earlier the website is California Burning where if you go to the to that website it just always says yes. I th I feel like I may have mentioned that in an earlier episode. It's smoky. Oh my gosh, the rest of the party needs to get in this fight. I'm gonna save Smite Evil for the big fight up ahead with the ogre. Oh shit. <laughs> Spoilers, there's a big fight up ahead with an ogre. It's totally the first time I've played this game. Oh, it's, it's, I've, I've played this game a few times before. Not necessarily all the way through though, like, and and that's what I really want. It's it's been a while since I've since I've played this game all the way through. Oh look, a shiny silver necklace. It does nothing. I'm wearing it. Oh, unidentified. I need an identify spell. I don't have that in any of my spell books, do I? Nope. Oh, so, oh yeah, Delia is in a new campaign. It's a Pathfinder campaign for the first time. Not D&D. &D. Um, and uh, Delia is, is my necromancer slash fencer over here. And she's like, she's done some epic level shit in some of the D&D &D campaigns that she's been in. So... <clears throat> and she's like been been a planeswalker and like 
lived in Sigil, the City of Doors. And so, so now I'm fourth level in this new Pathfinder campaign. Uh, and I've got to, I've got to figure out, like, a reason why she's fourth level, and it's like, okay, um, I decided, I decided she's just been, like, uh, I probably should rest before I start this fight. <laughs> oh, good, the orc didn't see me. Um, I gotta find an explanation for why she's fourth level. And so, in one campaign she was in, um, briefly, it was based off Discworld, and she was running around with the luggage. I had canon, uh, that she, she, when she ever, whenever she left that campaign, she took the luggage with her. Uh, <laughs> went back to Sigil the City of Doors, and, uh, and just, uh, set up, like, a, a tournament of champions in, like, uh, an, an in-tavern situation that had, like, an arena built next to it. And she did that for about 50 years. And one day, she woke up and everything was gone. And what had happened, what, what she thought at first was, like, oh no, like, like, one of her archenemies had, like, stolen all of her shit. But, like, really, the luggage... Had run off with all her shit. Because uh. <laughs> the luggage was gone too. She's like, they even took the luggage. And then she realizes a bit later, wait, that it could have been the luggage after all. But she's only got one spell book in this campaign. All of her best spell books. And she collected spell books from like all over the realms. Like... Uh, she had the spellbook of Fist and Dantillus. She had, she had, she had a lot of important spellbooks. I can't think of any other spellbooks that have names in D and D. <laughs> right at this second, but she, she had a tome of a thousand bones. Um, she had like every Necronomicon in existence, like. And now all she has is this bloody maroon spell book that has, like, no spells in it worth knowing. She's she's just mainly interested in necromancy, and it's like, it's it's just, it's all evocation and delusion and conjuration stuff, and... <clears throat> she doesn't even use it. Except that it has all of her cantrips in it, so uh, that's how that's how you take an epic level wizard and reduce them to level one. <laughs> Steal all of their spell books. Oh, so yeah, Del Taco exists on the West Coast, and I'm really happy about this. Um, I also feel like it's just a more level-headed part of the country, like, there's more places where marijuana is both, uh, medicinally and recreationally legal. Um, states have, have taken trans rights seriously, and, like, I'm, I'm especially, like, California is, like, really, really taking trans rights seriously, like, on some, on some, like, good news, since it's, it's kind of a slow news day. Uh, when, when the news is, is, uh, that Eddie Izzard put on a dress. Oh, man, I can't believe I wasted that whole blessed spell. Are you shitting me? Do not tell me this is the last place I saved. Yes. <sighs> Alright, well, there's only one batch of orcs to fight in between here and there. Rearrange my damn inventory again. I should just give all the axes to Hildegard because she's a dwarf. She likes axes, right? That's not fantasy racist at all. Alright, there's just a few orcs over here. No biggie. Oh shit, really? Very 
Never mind. <laughs> Another thing, though, that I noticed, uh, that I noticed, though, moving to a less densely populated area, aside from that, that there's much more beautiful countryside and, like, it's, like, it's, 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 like, relaxing to take a walk instead of stress-inducing. I also had a stalker in that city, so... Obviously, it's less stress-inducing to go outside here than there. But, like, it's, like, actually relaxing out here because there's countryside. You don't have that in a big city. Like, a, a park is no substitute for, for, like, actual countryside. Full offense. It's just not. <laughs> Um, but, but one thing I have noticed aside from the, that it is much more relaxing is, uh, is that you burn through a stack on your dating app much quicker. Like, if you, if you move from, from a, from a, a, a large city on the eastern seaboard to, like, a rural area anywhere, um, you'll very quickly notice that, like... The, the, there's a huge difference between how long it takes to burn through a stack on your dating app. Like, it takes a couple of days, spending a few hours at a time to really burn through a stack. Living in a large city on the eastern seaboard, like... It is not, it is not easy to burn through a stack, but you move out to the country, out on the west coast, and like, yeah, there, there's, 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 there's largely populated areas on the west coast, that's just, that's not where I moved to, um, and it's, it's, it's just very, very different in this more rural area where there's just like, the population density is just like, not at all. <laughs> not at all what it's like in like, major metropolitan eastern seaboard areas, like, Oh my gosh, you burn through you burn through your first stack in about ten minutes. Okay. And the app tells you, oh come back later, so you wait a few hours and you come back and there's nothing. And you wait a few hours and you come back and there's nothing. And you wait a day and you come back and there's nothing. And you wait two days and you come back and there's nothing. And you wait three days and you come back. And there's nothing. And on the fourth day you come back. And there's a cishet dude and a unicorn chaser couple. And... And you can only wonder, like, well, once I inevitably swipe left on both of these, how long is it going to take for there to be a new sack? Uh, it's the struggle. The struggle is real. All right, got a boss battle. We can do this. <clears throat> and not even make it take as long as that one encounter. All right, bless. Not sit around running my mouth until the bless runs out this time. Oh, can you hide in shadows, please? It's so annoying just having to wait for the rogue to be able to hide in shadows again. Oh my gosh, come on. 
Yes. Ah, yes! Sneak attack on an ogre. Top that. Ah, uh, shit. Like, <laughs> now what? Uh, uh, here. Use this as a choke point. Stay back here. Where's my dwarf? Hildegard. Can I help? And I'm gonna cast sleep on the ogre as soon as he's a bit closer. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Did I just put to sleep all but one orc? Okay. No, all but two orcs. Okay, I know there's two orcs still fighting right now, but we can literally kill all these enemies in, like, one hit each, I think. Ready and willing. What do you want? Name your task. Hey, need me? Oh, no, it wakes them up when you when you hit them. Maybe that was like, maybe they're using the third edition rules for it, and because I'm pretty sure at least in the gold box CRPGs, which were also second edition, that you got an automatic coup de gras on a sleeping enemy. Did I use that potion earlier? I did. Something oh my else. gosh. Trying to get healing spells on poor Sally is going to take a second. Oh no! I see. Not not quite. Something amiss. All right, need to make sure to save after I've cast my buffing spells. And I, I kid you not, the the day that you get that you get your stack, it's gonna it's gonna be a a cis straight guy and a unicorn chaser. Excuse me, a unicorn chaser couple. <clears throat> unicorn chasers always come in pairs. Oh no, come on, that's so not fair. Consider it done. No, <laughs> you don't need to be there. Hang on a second. You grab the whole party and hit them I like see. that. Yes. Oh no, wait, that's too far around the corner. As you wish. Yes. Won't take long. No, not you. <laughs> I want the other short person. <laughs> Ah, shit. <sighs> yes, I see. Yes? No I'm too close to the chamber. The chamber of orcs and ogres. Yes. Oh, hey, orcs and ogres. <laughs> it's, it's like D&D, &D, but oh and no, oh, orcs and ogres. Ah, weak. I want that sneak attack, damn it. That's like, that's the whole point of having a rogue in the party. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> She's not hidden in shadows, damn it. <sighs> Why does it have to be a cishet guy? And the unicorn chaser couple. Why? Someone tell me. 
What the fuck? It's like... It's like there's there's gotta be something wrong even in paradise, and... It's... <laughs> it's the, the, the second... the Not the second day, rather, the fourth day. When you get your when you get your stack back on your dating app, it consists of one cishet guy and a couple of unicorn chasers. It's just the way it is. Oh my gosh. I'll have to see if I can find, like, a gay bar somewhere. I just want to make friends, though, and I feel like bars are such, like... There's- there's such- there's such- oh my gosh. <laughs> Sally, get out of there before they kill you! You got your sneak attack, finally! Um... I feel like bars are such, like, sexualized places in a way. It's like, people people at a bar, it's like they automatically presume that everyone there is looking for someone to date or someone to fuck, and that's not the case. Like, what if you just want to make friends? Like, you can do that with a, with a dating app, and you can do that at a bar too, but it's like, everyone just assumes when you're at a bar that you're there because you want to hook up with someone. Oh no! Hardly hit anyone that time. Yeah. Uh, Sally, we're gonna have to sally forth again and, and try this one more time. Oh, yes, you got it. Good. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to all gather up wherever they're gonna gather up. That way, the spell will actually hit them all. Yes! I'm here. Death comes for you. Oh, it didn't wake up! I guess there's a chance after each hit that it'll wake up. Maybe they just decided it was it was like broken to be able to coup de gras any sleeping enemy. That's it's like a level one spell. Ooh shit. Oh they had to have bows and arrows. Fuck. I'm pretty sure in 3rd edition that you can get a sneak attack with a ranged weapon. Right. It might be easier to hit than, than dual wielding a sword and a dagger. But will it be as much damage? And the answer is no. <laughs> and that's what really matters at the end of the day. Okay, let's fight a little bit smarter. Sun Scorch and Smite Evil on the Ogre. Can I help? And then we'll cast Sleep on it. Wait, it moved. Ah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that spell targets an area and not the enemy that you click on. Whoa. 
I did not mean to hit whatever button did that. Ogre is injured, but I need it dead. <laughs> Just kind of cleaving through sleeping enemies. Oh my gosh, Sally leveled up. What? No one died yet. Ha, <laughs> ah, yes, no one died. That was, that was so sweet, that victory. Mm. That was so satisfying. And Sally leveled up. Why didn't everyone else level up, though? I guess if we're done with all this fighting, I can just put someone else at the front of the party. Someone who can carry more stuff. Why aren't you moving? I'll be okay. From here. Won't take long. Just so that I can carry stuff. I'm really excited about what is in the chest over there, but I believe in saving the best for last. Just pick up all this shit on the ground over here. All these battle axes and gold pieces and bows and arrows and whatever the ogre had. Oh, a potion. Nice. Oh, and a note of some kind, it seems. It's this note. Caravan contract! This wrinkled piece of parchment appears to be a written contract of sorts. Balin! Oh my gosh, one of the dwarves from, from the hobbits? <laughs> Deliver these five crates of supplies to the Emporium in East Haven. Make sure to get a fair price from that unscrupulous Kalashite weasel Pomab. Use the profit to acquire three barrels of uncarved scrimshaw from Gaspar's warehouse there in East Haven. Return to Cardinaval with the three barrels and you shall blah 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 blah. Alright, so the... The important thing to take away from that, I suppose, is that the caravan that we were sent to save was was indeed uh, sacked by these by these goblins or these orcs rather. Um, I guess we could have pictured or pieced that together rather from the from the the crates and stuff. <clears throat> The, the, you know, the caravan whose wagons were wrecked outside and, and whose crates were scattered all throughout the dungeon here. We probably could have pieced together that, that it was these orcs and that that was our caravan. Oh my gosh, but we need to level up Sally. Why doesn't everyone else get to level up? I don't understand. I'm confused. Uh, no new proficiency slots. New skills, though. Hello. Um, if this were, um, if this were pen and paper, like, tabletop d and I would totally be putting levels for her into pickpocket, but I don't feel like I don't feel like there's anything worth it in this game. I could be mistaken, though. Maybe they added stuff, like, they've already added loot in this map, so they could have added, like, they could have added stuff for you to pickpocket from different NPCs. It might be worth it. All right, let's go back to town. We'll let, uh, what's his name, Rothgar know what happened to the caravan, sell off all this shit, get that girdle that we found identified. All that and more next time on Vlog Wally Game. 
as always, thank you so very much for watching, and until then, be yourself.